Greetings everybody. Today we're going to look at this figure painting, which uh, initially, I just kind of finished it recently, but uh, it was, it was started in uh, 1996 actually, and left unfinished all these years. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about my approach to the figure and uh, what what it represents to me. Now, the, the, the size of this is 22 inches by 30 inches. And it's about a life, a half life-size figure. So you're, you're taking a figure and you're placing it in that space. And of course, when you're dealing with composition, the first thing you always consider is considers the shape and size and shape even more importantly of the surface you're working on and then you want to place it appropriately within that surface according to your own feeling and uh, so let me just say a little bit about the figure itself my work and I've been thinking about this lately my work is based on the human figure I guess that's why they call it figurative. Uh, Antonio once told me when I first started drawing, he said, and this is always, always a really important thing that he said to me, and I'm sure it will translate for all you artists out there and all you want to be artists, and very important. Uh, he said, if you can draw an apple, you can draw a face. If you can draw a face, you can draw a body. And if you can draw a body, there's nothing in the universe that you cannot draw because the body, the human form, is the most sophisticated form in the universe. That's a very interesting insight, comment, observation. And it also, it shows you, he didn't teach technique to me so much as he taught observation. Look at, look at the world and draw it directly, paint it directly. And that's how I approached the figure. And so these, they, I was very fortunate to uh, have had, had access to a, a really comfortable studio life drawing painting session that was uh, hosted by a man named Jim Curtis in Santa Rosa. Jim, very nice man and uh, really providing a service for that community. And I didn't work, my day job wasn't too far away from there and I had times during the day when I could actually just go over and paint for a couple hours from life. And this was one of those times where I, I painted and then I completed the composition a, a couple months ago. Let's look at it a little closer. Again, you can see that I'm coming at it from this idea of a la prima, the aesthetics of spontaneity. I'm not focusing too much on any given spot. The paint, the brush is continually moving across the surface and that body is beautifully expressed and very directly and very simply. Now it kind of, there's a little bit of inspiration I take from Corot, Camille Corot, the Barbizon School painter. I really love the paintings of women he did. They were half life size. And while they're a little more formal than my work, they're beautiful paintings that, that represent a, a really fine balance of brush color, composition, and, and ability. And, and of course, we all know Corot was a very important artist, pre, pre-impressionist, and is very helpful and inspiring to those men. But here, if you look at this, this uh, figure, you can see each brush stroke, the directness that, I wor that I'm working with. And as, and, and, this is important to note because it gives you the sense of performance and it shows you my 
mastery of the medium at the same time while not being too hung up on dominating the subject matter in some kind of literal fashion. You get a painting, you get the brush, you get the color, you get a color harmony, you, and you get a composition, and you get the motif at the same time. I'm not, I'm not trying to bend space, or I'm not playing games with the figure. At the same time, the composition is very interesting in how it moves from the red up through this, up, up the, through this uh, blue, the red pillow, the shadow space back here kind of takes on a little bit of a, a formal stylized uh, space within the composition. So you, you have uh, a, a composition that, that will hold your attention and deepen over time and give you plenty of enjoyment. And that's what, uh, that's what painting is about is to uh, enjoy in the same way you would enjoy a piece of music. And uh, it's uh, always the proof is in the pudding and I've talked enough for one day. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this painting with me. And uh, any questions or comments, don't be afraid to, uh, to ask or comment or criticize. I'm always up for good discussion. Have a great day.